Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, this is Taiba has the kicks.com, and today we're gonna talk about the Jordan 1 uh, tie dye. The shoe is only made for the ladies, but it's gonna be available in extended sizes. And it's supposed to come out on the 11th of June and then nationally, and then it comes out in North America on the 26th. But let's talk about like how many shoes were made, and we're gonna talk about resale value and all that good stuff. So before we get into it, let's look at the shoe. Now what you have is a white underlay with um, tie-dye overlays. Uh, if you look at all the pattern here, it's like basically you don't know what tie-dye is, man. You have a swoosh logo on the panels as usual, a little bit of black uh, next to the heel, black laces, black on the um, on top of the toe box, and you have your usual um, wings logo on the side, and this is pretty much it. A little bit of white on the tongue tab and a black extension on the tongue this is a good looking shoe i like it and i think they're gonna sell like pancakes so uh be sure to 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 look at this because i'm gonna talk about some good stuff here so now let's quickly go and, and talk about numbers i'm gonna click this i wrote this article today so now i'm gonna give it to you like straight up so basically what i did first was again i went and collected my data uh, i wanted to see who was getting the shoe and then from then I uh, built my assumptions. So who's getting the shoe? I mean, in, in, in major retailers, you have Foot Locker, Foot Action Champs, Finish Line, Jelly Sports, and East Bay. And you also have like Nike to begin with, of course. And then for the minor, we have like Downtown Locker Room, Shoe City, Snipes, Shoe Palace, and Chic. And then there's a lot of boutiques that are getting it like uh, overseas and within the uh, North America and this is the list of them there's a bunch of them here I'm not gonna go through the entire list so I'm not gonna do that now the hardest part of this projection is always like figuring out how many pairs each store is gonna get and then how many stores are gonna get allocated so it's kind of hard to do so I think for this case I built some assumptions based on like past history so I assume that Nike is gonna get about a quarter of the production and then Foot Locker and Champs and Foot Action are going to get like half of it because they have more stores, of course. And then Finish Line, JD, and then all the minor chains and boutiques within the U.S. are going to split the remaining quarter. Now, I gave about 24 pairs per regular Foot Locker store and then 70 pairs per like House of Hoops. And then for Foot Action and Champs, they're going to get 18 and 18. I think this is pretty much standard, right? And then for their online allocation, I give them like a third of the total the physical stores are getting and then i'm also going to give like another third to east bay and then lastly uh here's the thing like i think not all foot lockers are going to get it so i'm going to give only a third of the total foot locker the allocation and then the same thing for foot action and the same thing for champs so now for foot locker we are down to line out to like 164 regular foot, uh, foot locker stores and then 170 house of hoops and for foot action we are down to like 90 regular stores and for champs 182 because i think i took a, a third from the 547 from champs and a third from the 270 from foot action and for foot locker is a third of the thousand and then you split it into two because you have foot, uh, foot, foot lockers regular stores and you have your house of hoops as well so this is where I stand, and then I, I did my reg, my simple multiplication for foot, foot locker. It was 24 times 164, came up with like 39, 36 for house of hoops, 11,900 pairs for foot action. We came up with 1620 for champs, 33, 3276, and the total is add all this together, we come up with 20,732 pairs, and then for the online allocation, I just divided it by three. Came up with 69, 11, and then for East Bay, we took the 69, 11, divided by 3, we get 23 or 4, and then the total will be adding all these things together, came up with uh, like 30,000 pairs in total. And then 30,000 pairs, because we assumed in the beginning that this was half of the production for the USFA, I doubled that number, I came up with 60,000 pairs based on the model, but I stretched this number to like 80,000 because I'm assuming like I made some mistakes somewhere, so I'm adding an extra 20,000. And then now we can triple that number or double that number, and I come up with the conclusion that between 80,000 pairs and then 240,000 pairs were made. Now, don't be mistaken, when I put physical stores, I'm assuming, I'm, I'm treating this as if the physical stores are also operating. 
this is just to help me make my assumptions okay because we know everything now is online so i'm just going to treat this as if it was regular and then i'm going to convert the online the physical stores allocation to the online allocation and i gotta make sure i give you my little uh disclaimer i don't work for the brands i don't work for the retailers i'm just basing everything based on my own assumptions so i can make a lot of mistakes but this is just to give you a picture and an idea that what you can expect okay now that we've talked about numbers being between 80,000 and 240,000 pairs that shows that the shoe is limited right now let's talk about uh, resale value so when i collected my data this is what i came up with now if you see the spread is between tuesday may the 26th through june 10th which is today so this is what I realized, like early on, the shoe had like a phenomenal value. Like when I do my averages, what I do is just, I take the entire average per day. So if you have like a bunch of sizes and they sold for like 300, 400, so I take the average per that day and I do it for each single day. Okay. So on the 26, it was 453, went down to 410, went back up to 580 and then back to like 478, 396, 327. And if you look here, it is remained pretty much steady. Like it's constant, it hasn't changed ever since then. It's between 299, like 293. And when I did the average of all these five days, I came up with the, an average a resale value of $300. Okay, a little less than 300 or like more or less 300, like 299 between 298 and $300. So now let's not forget that the shoe is dropping in Europe. So that might affect the way our numbers are looking right now. So I'm assuming that the shoe right now has a constant value of three hundred dollars okay but that a, a lot of things are going to change because what i did was i went back and i did uh the same i ran the numbers again but i did now by by sizes i want to see why size what sizes are better okay so when i did it again you can see i have like three blocks in here now if you see the size 10 and a half and 12 between 10 and a half and 12 they have the highest revenues between uh, they, they go anywhere from 328 to, to like 348 dollars now smaller sizes are not doing so well but they're still doing great because i mean you're talking about like low like high 200 and low 300 so that's still great between six and a half and eight and a half at the exception of eight and nine and then eight nine nine and a half are like moderate like they're doing between 295 and like 315 so the shoe overall is pretty good okay you're gonna get at least 300 dollars for it so when i did my margins I see that uh, the profit because the shoes like 170 that's before tax and if you live in like the state of Maryland it's anywhere between 185 after tax so your profit margins is gonna sit somewhere between 80 and 100 dollars okay and the, the markup is like between 48 percent and 54 percent and I'm, I'm I'm like suspecting that uh, the price is gonna re remain the same like in the 300 but here's what I think is gonna happen it's gonna increase within like 30 days because this shoe is like people are looking at it they want it so at some point it might drop a little bit but i think it's gonna go up to like 350 360s you know because once people realize i can't get my hands on it because this is limited they're gonna want to pay extra dollars for it all right so this is all i have for you today now i want you if you want to get the shoe now i have like a bunch of sellers here that have it you can check the link in the description below and check it out you can grab it now i have something else that i wanted to show you now would you be kind enough to go ahead and 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 fill i have like this this thing on my website now if you look i'm gonna remove this i want you to take the survey because once you take the survey here you can just go on my website i'll provide you with a link or just go on the website housekicks.com and click the survey it's on the main page once you go through the survey it's gonna tell you exactly uh what type of shoes is fitted is uh, is fitting to you like it's, it suits you best because the, the survey has a bunch of questions and then based on how you answer the questions it's gonna tell you what shoes fit you the best so i want you to take it because i want to see where a lot of people stand so would you be kind enough to like take just like two minutes to to go to the website housekicks.com and click the survey and let me know how you did on that all right again thanks for watching this is time for master kicks and stay tuned for more stuff